Welcome to Did You Know? An historic trip into the contributions of people of color to everyday life. Did you know Gus Cannon helped create country music? Please like and subscribe. Gus Cannon's ties to country music and figures like Johnny Cash come primarily through the influence of his music and the broader genre of jug band and early American folk music, which played a significant role in the development of country music. While Cannon is primarily associated with blues and jug band music, these genres share a deep, interconnected history with early country music, with all drawing from a similar pool of folk songs, traditional music, and storytelling styles that were prevalent in the American South. Gus Cannon is a black musician who popularized jug bands, a precursor to country music, during the 1920s. Interestingly, he also is known to have taught Johnny Cash the banjo, Gus Cannon, born Gustavus Cannon on September 12, 1883 in Red Banks, Mississippi, was an influential American blues musician. He played a pivotal role in popularizing jug bands during the 1920s and 1930s. One of his notable groups was Cannon's Jug Stompers. Cannon's musical journey began when he taught himself to play a banjo made from a frying pan and a raccoon skin. The banjo, often associated with a white pastoral South, actually has its roots in West African lutes brought to America by slaves. Minstrel and blackface shows helped spread the banjo to white audiences, shaping the rise of hillbilly music, later rebranded as country music. Country music's roots are deeply intertwined with the blues, folk, and gospel traditions from which artists like Gus Cannon emerged. The banjo, an instrument central to Cannon's music, is also a staple in country and bluegrass genres, further illustrating the shared musical heritage. This cross-pollination of musical styles contributed to the development of what would become distinct genres. As for direct ties to country music stars like Johnny Cash, the connection is more about the influence and respect for the traditions from which Cannon's music sprang rather than direct collaboration or acknowledgement. Johnny Cash, known for his deep appreciation and understanding of American roots music, undoubtedly was aware of the musical legacy of artists like Gus Cannon. Cash's own music often bridged genre divides, incorporating elements of folk, blues, and gospel into his country sound, reflecting the broader landscape of American music that artists like Cannon helped to shape. His talent blossomed as he entertained at sawmills, levee camps, and railroad sites in the Mississippi Delta. In Clarksdale, he was influenced by local musicians like Jim Turner and Alec Lee. Turner's fiddle playing inspired Cannon to learn the fiddle himself, while Lee introduced him to folk blues and the technique of using a knife blade as a slide on his banjo. After moving to Memphis, Tennessee, Cannon recorded under the name Banjo Joe for Paramount Records in 1927, backed by the renowned Blind Blake. His most famous band, Cannon's Jug Stompers, included harmonica player Noah Lewis and guitarist Ashley Thompson. Together, they formed Cannon's Jug Stompers, a band that played at parties, dances, and medicine shows. Their music blended elements of blues, folk, and traditional jug band sounds. Notably, their recording of Big Railroad Blues remains a classic and can be found on the compilation album The Music Never Stopped, Roots of the Grateful Dead. Moreover, the folk revival of the 1960s, which saw a resurgence of interest in traditional American music, created a platform where the paths of earlier musicians like Gus Cannon and later country stars would indirectly cross. This period highlighted the foundational work of early 20th century musicians, influencing a wide range of artists across genres, including those in the burgeoning country music scene. While there may not be direct collaborations or explicit mentions of Gus Cannon by country stars like Johnny Cash, the indirect influence of Cannon's work on the evolution of country music and its artists is a testament to his enduring impact on American music as a whole. Gus Cannon's legacy endures as a pioneer of early American blues and a key figure in the development of jug band music. His contributions continue to resonate with music enthusiasts and historians alike. If you like our video, please like and subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be notified of new content.